Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So with this series, I'm going to start a new concept uh, on the channel that uh, every week, at least two to three times, I'll be publishing a MCQ series where we'll be solving questions with respect to uh, multiple choice questions or single choice questions. And uh, we will do a lot of quiz over there. It will help you to improve your small, small concepts in automation and automation. It could be anything. It could be backend automation, API automation, Selenium, UI and different other automation tools, programming as well. We will do that. We are not going to talk about some complex logic or complex uh, program here. It is only and only for the quiz and one single question and multiple choice questions are there or single choice question is there and we will try to see what is the right answer and why it is the right answer we will try to solve it this is again i will say this is your and for the interview preparation it will help you a lot so before we begin i would advise you to uh, enroll with academy.naveenautomation.labs.com there are some free quizzes are available you can see this is my selenium first quiz and uh, in future i'll be publishing more and more free quiz it's absolutely free you can just go and then check it over there so i'm going to start a quiz over here you just need to click on it and then uh, you don't need to pay anything for this simple click on continue and here you can see that more than 12,000 people have already enrolled for it and then uh, simple start the quiz there are around 12 questions 15 minutes 15 minutes i have uh, given deliberately because of the video that i'm preparing for today but next time onwards you will be getting maximum four to five minutes to solve all the questions and questions are <coughs> very basic and in in terms of selenium in terms of ui automation and other things but later on the quiz will be more and more complex sub tough question and then medium level question and the complex question also will be there right so just think and then give the answer make sure that you are very well versed with all the different uh, concepts of a specific uh, tool so let's start the quiz uh, click on start quiz here you will see some instructions you can hear that and then uh, you can click on start so let's see the first question that we are going to talk about that is uh, what is a web driver which very very simple very straightforward answer web driver is an interface in terms of java we are talking about so yeah web driver is an interface after that you have to click on save and next you have to save your question and then save your answer and then next here you can see that first answer got saved which class is directly implementing the web driver interface chrome driver firefox driver remote web driver and at the edge driver so answer is remote web driver couple of people they get confused that chrome driver firefox driver edge driver is the direct implementation of web driver no the direct implementation of the web driver is remote web driver if you really want to see that you can just check it any for example let's see if i go to uh, any web driver code here you can just check you can check their official github page also and then see this is my web driver interface this is my chrome driver is the class and uh, chrome driver is actually extending the remote web driver see chrome driver is not implementing a web driver interface directly and uh, chrome driver is extending remote web driver and the remote web driver is actually implementing web driver interface so web, remote web driver is the direct implementation of the web driver right so that's why the answer is remote web driver here let's click on save and next what is the parent interface of web driver the parent interface of web driver if you see here let's go to the interface web driver here and then web driver is extending another interface that is search context you go to search context and we have only uh, two methods in search context find elements in the find element method and this is an interface so the parent interface of web driver in selenium java library is search context so answer is search context click on save and next which is the right url value in driver.get method this is again a nice question uh, here <coughs> the first option is driver.get https google.com with www dot without https here with https google.com here i'm not writing any www dot and this is complete wrong you can see that www dot google.com at the rate dot com this is a wrong string that you are passing it now we have to fix we have to check out of these three one so yes without http or https you cannot pass the url in driver so if you see i'll show you practically also this is my http if i remove https this will not work see i'm going to remove it and when you try to launch simple google.com let's see it is launching or not so run as java application and then here you can see the browser is getting launched but it will not open google.com here and that's why you will see the error on the console 
and see the error is saying that uh, <coughs> invalid argument exception invalid argument this is coming because of your see if you go to webdriver line number this particular class line number 16 this is coming because of http is missing right so that's why the answer is https google.com but here another thing is that what if i have written https but i have removed ww dot so in that case again see i'll write only https but i have removed ww dot will this work let's see so run as java application such a small concept but see now the browser is getting launched and uh, it should enter google.com as well okay now you can see the google.com got entered i'm getting the correct title and everything is fine so the answer is a and C both remember this thing okay now click on save and next which interface is having until method in selenium java library weight interface web driver weight fluent weight and the javascript executor so the answer is weight interface weight interface is available in selenium java library which is actually implemented by fluent weight and the fluent weight is extended by web driver weight if you really want to see the hierarchy you can see that here as well so if you go to I'll show you in my uh, code as well. So for example, let's see if I'm going to, uh, let's take this example, web driver weight class. Okay. So see, this is my web driver weight class. Web driver weight is actually a class which is already available in a Selenium Java library, which is extending the fluent weight. And the fluent weight is actually extending the weight interface. And inside the weight interface, we have the until method. So you just press control O and you will see this until method is available actually uh, inside the weight interface inside the weight interface in interface in java we cannot create the method body with the non-static method that's why this is an abstract method or only method prototype is there and uh, the method is actually defined by the fluent weight it means this method should be overridden by the fluent weight so here you can see press ctrl o and simple search for until method and now you can see this until method is actually overridden by which class the fluent weight class so the answer is where exactly weight interfaces <coughs> which interface is having until method in selenium java library web driver weight and the fluent weight these are the classes weight in the interface is the right answer here you can see inside the weight interface until method is written okay so answer is this now click on save and next which one is the right syntax of web driver weight as per selenium 4.x library so it means we are creating the object of web driver weight and then what are different options are available for the web driver weight constructor to see the answer to justify this answer we will go to the web driver weight class here which is already provided by selenium and then here you can see simple press control o, control o and here you can see that these are the deprecated version here you can see cross cross means deprecated same thing you can see at the rate deprecated means we are no longer using this in selenium 4 library and this is a selenium 4 library code and then in web driver weight we have web driver weight and the duration we have to pass right so that's why the answer will be the duration of seconds answer is b we never pass driver comma web element we never pass driver comma true and then this is a selenium 3 code driver comma time unit we used to have it in selenium 3 library but time unit is actually got expired here here you can see the time out in milliseconds that is actually deprecated same thing if you slightly scroll it down here you can see that time unit is also deprecated here so we the right answer is we have to use the duration class to provide the timeout and that is what the right concept is this this is what the right concept we have to pass web driver weight driver comma duration of number of seconds or whatever you can pass you can see in duration we have different options are available off days off hours milliseconds nanoseconds and everything and whatever the timeout that you want to pass you can pass it over here so this is the right uh, syntax for this so that's why answer is b now click on save and next <coughs> do css selectors support backward traversing in html dom no the answer is no other answers don't get confused only in a specific browser just like xpath no xpath supports backward compatibility but with css we cannot go in the backward direction so answer is no it does not support click on save and next what is the default polling interval time in web driver weight in selenium the so default polling time in selenium that is 500 milliseconds although you can customize it also by passing then one extra parameter in the constructor of web driver weight so here you can somewhere 
if you really want to create the object see i'm going to create the object of a web driver wait one more time let me just comment it out and then see this is my duration timeout and then you can pass another value also see you put a control space and this is the duration sleep this is your polling time third parameter also you can pass it so if you really want to override the duration of polling so you can write this is my duration dot of uh, number of seconds you can pass let's see two seconds and let's see if i'm passing timeout is around 10 seconds it means that every two seconds it will poll the dom it will go to the page and then check that element is uh, visible or not not every time so, so you can override the polling time also if you don't override if you don't give this by default polling time is 500 milliseconds okay so the answer is 500 milliseconds not the zero second click on save and next next question is that which method is in selenium used to perform right click which is very straightforward there is no method of right click right click driver we have the method context click we don't have any method like right click if you really want to verify you can do that as well what you can do you can just create the object of actions class so let's create the object of actions is equal to a new actions pass the driver import this particular actions class from selenium and then see this action dot there is no method like right click method we have context click method here you can see this is my context click method which is actually overloaded method context click without passing anything and context click by passing web element so without passing anything means performs a context click at the current mouse location and if you really want to do a context click means right click on a specific element you just need to pass the web element over here so that's why the answer is what the answer is yes we do have that but with context click not the right click method so answer is context click web element save and next which exception will be thrown in case of element is not found on the page element not found no such element exception element not available exception or a stale element exception <clears throat> so answer is no such element exception if the element is not available or element is not found by selenium it will not give you element not found exception it will always give you no such element exception remember this concept there is no exception like element not found exception or element not available exception exception in selenium element not found exception is coming from java not from selenium and still element reference exception is a totally different concept okay so still element will come when once the dom is staled and the element is staled inside that particular dom so that's why answer is no such element exception will be thrown if you're passing wrong id or or let's see id is also correct and xpath is also correct but element is not available on the page it will always give you no such element exception so answer is b and then this is the interesting one this is the class this is the main method and then you can see we are launching chrome and chrome driver driver.get we are launching any application for example demo.com creating the web element with the help of by id and then here you can see that uh, uh, Element dot send keys. I'm passing test at the rate gmail dot com, and then suddenly I'm doing a refresh over here. So refresh means the page got refreshed. The moment I refresh my page, the DOM also will be refreshed in that case. But the first element that you created from the previous page, let's see for example DOM number one, and then you enter the value test at the rate gmail dot com, which is absolutely working fine. And then I'm going to refresh the page, and then enter the value. So once you refresh the page, enter the value Nabeen. It will not do that here it will give you a stale element reference exception because the dom got stale or your element got stale so the answer is that no it will throw the stale element reference exception now click on save and next in which case of closing browser session id will be null so the answer is will be driver.quit sorry this is a typo so answer is driver.quit actually in case of close the session id will be invalid but in case of driver.quit your session id will be null and then save and next so all the questions are done i'm going to submit it and now let's see the scorecard you will get the scorecard via email also and you can see that yeah out of just ignore the percentile you can just ignore that you just see your marks over here your marks 12 out of 12 and if any question that you have attempted wrong it will give you that which one is attempted wrong what is the time taken and everything correct questions uh, 12 perfect so this is what is exactly working so you can also attempt and we will see other quizzes also in future and you can suggest any specific topic if you really want to suggest 
we can prepare the questions and then if you really want to submit some interesting questions to me i'll upload those questions in the portal and then we can prepare a video it will be really helpful for the community and other people who are preparing for the interviews and uh, just to improve your basic concepts quick concepts over here thank you so much thanks for watching navin automation labs please subscribe to the channel share with others i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all